purposely. Your life, God's purpose. Listen at onpurposely.com. There is no panic in heaven. God has no problems, only plans. The words of Corey Ten Boom kick us off today on the Bible for Busy People. Corey and her family hid the Jewish people in World War II, and their story continues to be told through a read I highly recommend, The Hiding Place. It will change your life as you read about this family's faith and courage. We're talking about the God who hears this week on the Bible for Busy People, the God who bends down when you and I talk to him. Isn't that amazing? He's always willing to listen. He cares about what's on your heart, and he wants to relieve you of the burdens that you're carrying. We're studying the story of Hezekiah in 2 Kings. We're going to pick it up in chapter 19. But in case you missed last time, Hezekiah was a king in Judah, and he faithfully served the Lord. The king of Assyria opposed him, and he was picking on the Israelites. He was threatening to take Jerusalem, the holy city, and he mocked our God. He literally sent a message to King Hezekiah that said, yeah, basically, there is no God who has the power to rescue you from me. And Hezekiah got down on his knees and wore sackcloth and begged the Lord for help. He understood that the Lord was listening and cared about his plight and the plight of the Israelites. And so now Isaiah, the prophet, is going to give Hezekiah the king, the faithful king, a message in verse 32 of 2 Kings chapter 19. And this is what the Lord says about the king of Assyria. That's the evil king. His armies will not enter Jerusalem. They will not even shoot an arrow at it. They will not march outside its gates with their shields, nor build banks of earth against its walls. The king will return to his own country by the same road on which he came. He will not enter this city, says the Lord, for my own honor and for the sake of my servant David, I will defend this city and protect it. So that was Isaiah, the prophet's message for the faithful king, Hezekiah. Verse 35, now that night, the angel of the Lord went out to the Assyrian camp and killed 185,000 Assyrian soldiers. When the surviving Assyrians woke up the next morning, they found corpses everywhere. Then King Sennacherib of Assyria broke camp and returned to his own land just as God had promised through the prophet Isaiah. He went home to his capital of Nineveh and stayed there. One day while he was worshiping in the temple of his god, Nisroch, his sons, Adramemelech and Sharizar, killed him with their swords. They then escaped to the land of Ararat, and another son, Asarhaddon, became the next king of Assyria. God listened to the prayers of Hezekiah and he answered those prayers. He is the same God who hears the prayers and your heart cries today. As long as you pray, he is going to bend down and listen. That's a promise from his word. Amazingly, it's just one of the dramatically incredible prayers that God answered in Hezekiah's life. Join me now in 2 Kings chapter 20, beginning in verse 1. About that time, yes, the time we just read about when God rescued the Israelites from the Assyrians, Hezekiah became deathly ill and the prophet Isaiah, son of Amos, went to visit him. He gave the king this message. This is what the Lord says. Set your affairs in order for you are going to die. You will not recover from this illness. When Hezekiah heard this, he turned his face to the wall and prayed to the Lord. Remember, O Lord, how I have always been faithful to you and have served you single-mindedly, always doing what pleases you. Then he broke down and wept bitterly. 
But before Isaiah, the prophet now, had left the middle courtyard, this message came to him from the Lord. Go back to Hezekiah, the leader of my people. Tell him, this is what the Lord, the God of your ancestor David says. I have heard your prayer and seen your tears. I will heal you. And three days from now, you will get out of bed and go to the temple of the Lord. I will add 15 years to your life and I will rescue you and this city from the king of Assyria. I will defend this city for my own honor and for the sake of my servant David. Then Isaiah said, make an ointment from figs. So Hezekiah's servants spread the ointment over the boil and Hezekiah recovered. Meanwhile, Hezekiah had said to Isaiah, what sign will the Lord give to prove that he will heal me and that I will go to the temple of the Lord three days from now? Isaiah replied, this is the sign from the Lord to prove that he will do as he promised. Would you like the shadow on the sundial to go forward 10 steps or backward 10 steps? The shadow always moves forward. Hezekiah replied, so that would be easy. Make it go 10 steps backward instead. So Isaiah the prophet asked the Lord to do this, and he caused the shadow to move 10 steps backward on the sundial of Ahaz. Wow. Hezekiah's life is marked by answered prayers. How many pits did he find himself in? The pit of fear. Can you imagine what it would be like knowing there was an evil king that wanted to take your people and your land, the holy city? And yet in that pit, he reached up to the Lord and asked for help. Then he finds himself in the pit of sickness and despair. He hears he's going to die and he still reaches to the Lord and the Lord is there. He knows that the Lord is faithful to listen and to act. We serve the same God. You can reach out right now to the Lord Jesus in whatever pit you find yourself in today and ask for help. He's the God who hears and who answers. You can trust him. Until next time, you are loved. Thank you so much for listening to the Bible for Busy People. If you need prayer or you're ready to go a little deeper in your faith, we've posted some resources for you in our show notes. We'd love for you to share this podcast with a friend and leave us a review. It helps us reach even more people with the hope of Jesus. This podcast is part of Purposely, a podcast network designed with practical podcasts to help you find and live in God's purpose for your life. Find more podcasts that will recharge you at onpurposely.com. Dot com.